Watch to see the reason why Chinese railway is so advanced and developed. Hi everyone, this is Arthur. And of course, this is Richard Aguilar, and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. The reasons why Chinese railways are so advanced and developed is because their railways are intimately linked with urbanization, and most of China's big cities are concentrated in these areas. In urban areas, the pace of economic development and the availability of transportation infrastructure interact to reinforce growth. So in this video, get ready to see the reason why Chinese railway is so advanced and developed. And since we don't want to waste any more of your time, let's proceed with our number one. Number one is new high-speed railway that is constructed in North China. Work at the construction site of the Datong Jiangjiakou High Speed Railway in Tianjin County, North China's Xiangxi Province. The 140 km railway connecting Datong of Shanxi Province and Jiangjiakou of Hebei Province in North China is designed for a maximum speed of 250 km per hour. Its construction is expected to be finished by the end of this year. Number two is China's first highway railway cross-sea bridge connected in East China. The first navigable span of China's first highway railway cross-sea bridge has officially been linked up. The navigation span, one of the three navigable spans of the Pingtan Strait Bridge, is located in Pingtan's Dalian Island in Xiaolian Island Waterway. A 470-ton steel truss beam was hoisted to the connection position about 75 meters above the sea surface and fixed with drift pins, successfully completing the closure. Number three is thousands of Chinese workers built a railway in just nine hours. Seven trains and 23 diggers were used alongside 1,500 people to complete the huge construction project. A train station was built in just 9 hours by 1,500 workers in China. Organized with military precision, the project which reportedly took place over the weekend was completed in the southern Fujian province. Workers were split into 7 units to take on 7 simultaneous tasks, according to the deputy manager at China's TCGU Civil Engineering Group. Number 
Number four is China's first railway bridge using gluing technology. A railway bridge which has for the first time used gluing technology completed its closure in Jokou of central China's Henan province, marking a breakthrough in China's railroad construction technology. The railway bridge is part of the high-speed rail linking Jiangzhou and Henan and Fuyang in Anhui. Stretching 19.6 kilometers, the bridge is composed of 96 deck sections that was prefabricated by China's self developed bridge fabrication machine. Number 5 is, Giant Machine Helps Chinese Railway Workers Upgrade Track As this giant machine, a ballast cleaner, does the hard work for workers. Using vibrations, small fragments of clay or coal cinder in the railway, ballast are removed. Another machine is then used to lift the tracks, remove the old sleepers and lay new ones. The whole process is managed by a computer system. These two machines make light work of a usually strenuous job. Number 6 is Maintenance on High Speed Railway Bridge in China. Bridge maintenance workers work under the arch of the Bay Panjang Railway Bridge in southwest China's Guizhou Province. The high speed railway bridge, 721 meters in length, is a part of the Shanghai Kunming High Speed Railway Line, which links the country's prosperous eastern coast with the less developed southwest. Maintenance workers examine the bridge every day to make sure the safety of the railway line. Number 7 is Safeguarding China's High Speed Railway by Knocking on Stones. These workers are safeguarding the high speed railway by knocking on stones. They check if the stones are safe or not. Bullet trains run at a speed of at around 250 kph, which is very fast. Even a small stone might cause a disaster if it falls and hits the train. They put a safety barrier holding the stones from falling down to the railroad. The workers are doing their part to ensure the safety of the high-speed railway in Jiangxi, China.
enjoyed watching this video. And if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.